Let's talk about sex linkage. Now, first of all, what is sex linkage? Now, this is when a gene is carried or found on a sex chromosome. But it's usually the X chromosome. And in A-level biology, as a definition for sex linkage, we can just say sex linkage is when a gene is carried on the X chromosome. Now remember the sex chromosomes are the 23rd pair of chromosomes. Females, well, in humans and most animals anyway, females are XX, males are XY. But do check the question, because I've seen AQA trying to trip you up, where they give you a species where the male is XX and the female is XY. But let's not overcomplicate it today. Just look out for that in your exams, OK? So females have two X chromosomes. Males have an X and a Y chromosome. Now, the X chromosome, if I show you over here, the X chromosome is much larger than the Y chromosome. So this is my X and this is my Y. Because it's much larger, it carries many more genes. So all the genes that are carried on this portion of the X chromosome, you can see there's no corresponding gene on the Y chromosome because the Y chromosome is far shorter and carries far fewer genes. These chromosomes are not the same size. Most of them, um, most of the chromosome is non-homologous. So there's a small kind of homologous region here that will carry the same genes in the same loci. But here, this is non-homologous because there's no corresponding portion on the Y chromosome. Now, what does this mean? Well, females, because they have two X chromosomes, if there is a gene carried on this portion of the X chromosome, they will have two copies of that gene. So, for example, if we think about haemophilia, which is a sex link disorder uh, where the blood doesn't clot properly, because they have two X chromosomes, they've got two of these, right? So the haemophilia gene is on here. They'll have two copies. So they could have two dominant alleles. They could have a dominant and a recessive allele. They could have two recessive alleles. And this female would have haemophilia because haemophilia is caused by a recessive allele. Because she's female, she has two X chromosomes. She would need to inherit two copies of that recessive allele to have haemophilia. Here she would be a carrier of haemophilia, but would be unaffected herself because she has a dominant allele. Now let's think about the male in this scenario. Males will only have one gene and one allele for haemophilia. They can't have two because their second sex chromosome is the Y chromosome. It's much smaller and there is no gene for haemophilia on the Y chromosome. So there's only two options for the male. They can have the dominant allele on their X chromosome. This male will be healthy and not have haemophilia because remember it's caused by a recessive allele. The male could have the recessive allele. This male would have haemophilia. Even though he's only got one copy of the recessive allele, there's no option of a dominant allele to mask the expression. So even though he's only got one copy of the recessive allele, he would have haemophilia. And this is why haemophilia and other sex link disorders are far more common in males. And you might have to explain that in the exam. You can say things like males only have one X chromosome and therefore only need to inherit one recessive allele. So if it's a sex link disorder that's caused by a recessive allele and you're asked why is it more common in males like haemophilia or colour blindness, it's because males only have one X chromosome, they only need to inherit one recessive allele, whereas females have two X chromosomes, therefore they would need to inherit two recessive alleles, one from each parent in order to have that sex link disorder. Before we finish this video, let's just talk about how we actually write all of this, because I've not kind of discussed it. 
If the allele is sex linked, if they tell you in the question it's sex linked, then you must show the sex chromosomes. So XX for female, XY for male. Then you put the alleles as superscript letters. Remember that if it's a female with two X chromosomes, each chromosome will have an allele. So you should have a superscript letter next to each X. And we can use the capital for the dominant and the lowercase for the recessive. Remember, if it's a male, the male is XY usually, but look out for weird questions where the female is XY. Um, so they're only going to have one allele on the X chromosome. The Y chromosome should be blank. So they're either going to have the dominant or the recessive. They cannot be a carrier. They cannot have both the dominant and the recessive. They're either going to have the disorder or not. And that's it. I hope you have found this video useful. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's still anything you don't understand and check out my TikTok as well to see a question that I've recently posted. It was a really good one, actually. It was a big genetic cross. It had sex linkage in there. It had epistasis in there and it had co-dominant alleles in there. So if you've not seen that yet, go and check it out.